Well, he's going to take it to court and get get your land anyway. So you better take his $150 offer, offer and better do it right now. You had 20, maybe one week to settle up, or else he's going to lose it all. So it was sort of a well, good and bad situation. As far as the lake goes, as far as resentment, I think most of the resentment is dead. I think it's sort of like the Federal Army created a lot of resentment in the in Civil War. It was still held over of 1940. In 1940, the Yankees, instead of being called a damn Yankee, they were called, they were just the U.S. Army. And we got over them. We got the federal government brought money to this area, the jobs. We've gotten over resentment for it. But it did create resentment, just like Smoky Mountains, uh, TVA lakes. They created resentment from those with landowners. So that and farmland now is what? Is it at, at the bottom of the lake? No. Some of it's still high and dry. Yep. Never has been water Je uh, Jefferson uh, area that he talks about is high and dry. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, yeah. co beautiful area. They People need to go out there and see. It's, it's just beautiful up there. I believe it's 300 foot back from the lake or 10 foot above the elevation of the, above the high flood, flood area of the lake. So if the area, the area was 10 foot above the high flood stage, they bought it. So some land never got under water. It's good farm land yet, and some of it's still being farmed. By by the federal by government? By it's actually been leased. I was there. Yeah, leased yeah. to local so that's, that's created some resentment for a while, too. Here they took my land, yet they farmed it, and lend it out to somebody else. Yeah. But we're over that, I think. We've gotten over that kind of resentment we had of it, and we accept it. And Smyrna has been a good, very good place to live. We're, we're happy with Smyrna. We're happy with the lake. It brought a lot of recreational values to us and things like that. It's not, a, it's not a something we're still cussing and fussing about. Well, I, I appreciate you guys coming on here and, and talking with us uh, about this. Um, Toby, where can, where, if we, someone out there is interested in finding out more about the history of Rutherford County and the history of Murfreesboro, Smyrna, you, you've got some of that together. I mean, can they come in and, and visit and talk with folks about it? Um, uh, they certainly can. Uh, we do have a lot of information uh, through the Historical Society that, uh, that we have preserved and uh, uh, things that you can readily read. Uh, uh, there are other things like uh, like that which I've collected and and the articles that you're looking at they uh, they were uh, they were in the local papers uh, Doug uh, Doug Davis uh, was the writer for the, uh, these here and he did a lot of research which is which is all good uh, some of the uh, 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 some of those early writings like the history of uh, of old Jefferson was actually done uh, say as a research paper so they, uh, so it's well footnoted and uh, and and so those things are available through the historical society and uh, and we have uh, uh, titles of those listed on the internet that you can go to and, and what's the website address uh, uh, do you uh, do you know offhand uh, Ernie we can just do a Google search of Rutherford County yeah. is it Rutherford County yeah, dot Rutherford gov? Something, yeah it's Rutherford history Rutherford County TN dot gov. I, I think they just changed it recently, but I've forgotten what the new website is. Well, I, I'm sure folks can uh, do Rutherford County Historical Society, uh, Tennessee, and, and yeah. find it yeah, by, sure. by doing an Internet search there. Toby um, and, and Ernie, thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you for having us here. And I want to say, say one word. We, All got, right. we got to appreciate the ones that started the Historical Society. Homer Pittard, Mayor W. Hollis Westbrook. We owe a lot, and Bob Ragland, we owe a lot to those people, some of the early people. And they're all dead and gone now, but I'd like to say thank you to them. Absolutely. Wherever they are now. Keep keep, uh, keep the history alive. Mike, yeah. thanks for uh, for being here and putting right. this together. We'll thank do it again Ryan. in a couple of weeks. That's going to do it for Rutherford Issues today. Thanks for joining us here from the North Rutherford Y. All Sports Talk is coming up next, and then I'll be back in the studio for Homeward Bound Local News at 5 o'clock. So long, everyone.